yet we're in Burley and we start <clears throat> at the Queen's Head pub which is uh, famous for being a uh, smuggler's hideout in a recent refurbishment they found a <clears throat> hidden cellar where they would store all the um, stolen goods that they had got from uh, shipwrecks and other such things we just found this interesting cottage for sale beautiful tree it's obviously an oak tree Burley is mostly famous for its history of witchcraft and a place for where the religion of Wicca was founded but it also has lots of stories of s smuggling we're in a uh, deer park at the moment a nice grand house there this village is also famous for the white witch Sybil Leek who lived here in the 19 50s she become quite a local celebrity she'd wander the area with a jackdaw on her shoulder the locals not liking her interest and practice of witchcraft eventually bullied her out of the um, village where she left to live in the um, United States magical type trees and stones around this area. We've now arrived at St John the Baptist Church which looks a mixture of old and new. We'll take a look. Now that seems to be the older building and you've got these newly built parts of the structure we've got the union flag flying Let's see if we can uh, get in This is the more modern part of the building. Let's take a look at some of the uh, um, gravestones. Couldn't really speak in the church because there were people in there sitting. This one says, Ruth, the dear only daughter of Ellis and Clementine. Lister K of Burley Manor, born on the 4th of December 1881 and died on August the 23rd 1896 so wasn't wasn't very old that's sad it is well nice little pathways through the cemetery or churchyard. Uh, there was a uh, a New Forest Coven 
that dwelled here in the uh, New Forest. And they're said to have performed a witchcraft ritual on a beach quite nearby to stop Hitler. Hitler's invasion <clears throat> of the southern coast of England. Um, they were said to summon a huge storm which if you look in history a storm that night did actually happen and did stop Hitler's invasion of um, mainland Britain. We're now around the uh, back of the church and we're going to see if we can find any more interesting graves. Yeah, this one looks interesting over here, doesn't it? It's a big rock, a big stone. Edith Oldman, who died the 4th of May 1929. <clears throat> the village itself is also connected to uh, the founder of Wicca, Gerald uh, Gardner. He founded the pagan religion, modern pagan religion, and was said to be a member of Leek's Coven. Although it's quite obvious to anyone who has studied the occult and the history of things like that, that Gardner was strongly influenced by uh, occultist Alistair Crowley, which also would have in influenced the religion of Wicca. We'll take a look at this uh, wild area where the graves have been left to moss over, and quite overgrown. I'll just show you some horse poo in the cemetery. Horses in the New Forest for people that aren't familiar with the New Forest um, would know that horses do roam around the New Forest freely, including in the towns. They've obviously been walking around the cemetery. You can just see a thatched cottage there just over the way. today on our journey. Uh, I would like to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that bell. Also don't forget to share this video. Bye bye.